Hi boys and girls, welcome back to math time. This week, remember, we've been learning about 2D shapes, two-dimensional. We have named so far a shape with zero sides, zero vertices, circle. A shape with four sides that are equal and four equal and four vertices, a square. We learned about the shape with three vertices and three sides, the triangle. Not every side has to be equal, remember we said about the triangle. If you stretch a square out, you get the rectangle with four vertices and four sides. But not all of their sides have to be equal on the rectangle. And yesterday we studied the hexagon. Can you remember how many vertices? Six. And how many sides? Six. Very good. And our fun fact was take a pair of scissors, cut the hexagon in half, you'll get a trapezoid. Two equal size trapezoids. Today we're doing a bonus question. Okay, we're going to be learning about something called Perimeter. Can you say that with me? Perimeter. Sometimes we need to measure the distance around an object. So I have our little ladybug. She wanted to help me again today. Here she is. And if I wanted to build a little home for a ladybug, I use one of our items from school, a little box shape. She would like to live inside here. And if I wanted to measure how long around is the ladybug's home. I could use something to measure, like a ruler. You've seen rulers at school before. Maybe you have a ruler at home. If you do, you can use it to measure some things at your house. Let's measure the perimeter of our ladybug's home. So I put the ruler on one end, and I see it is three inches on one side. I measure the second side, three inches long. I measure the third, it's three, and the last one is three. So to find out my perimeter, I'm gonna use our whiteboard. I'm gonna pretend this is the ladybug's box. We measured one side and said it was three inches long. We measured this side, and we said that's three inches long. We measure the next side, three inches long, and we measure the last side, three inches long. Notice that each side of this ladybug's house was equal. Not everything you measure will be equal, but this one was. Now I'm gonna add up all four sides to get my perimeter. Three plus three plus three more, plus three. That's a lot of numbers to add up, boys and girls. So I can use my fingers to help me. Three, and then I can count on three more. Four, five, six. Now I need to count three more. Seven, eight, nine. Three more. 10, 11, 12. The perimeter of the ladybug's house is 12 inches. I added three plus three plus three plus three more. Boys and girls, your challenge today is to pick something from your house. Maybe it's going to be a triangle shape. Maybe it will be a square. Maybe it's going to be a picture. I chose a picture of my dad and I. And you can use a ruler and measure each side and maybe you might ask mom and dad to help you count up what that is, and you will find its perimeter. If we were at school, we could also use little unifix cubes to measure with. You don't always have to measure with a ruler to find perimeter. You might use blocks or cubes or something that has the same equal length of each one. So boys and girls, have fun learning about perimeter Today we've made a perimeter for our ladybug, but when our chicks hatch, I'm gonna need to measure and create something to keep our chicks in, and then you can help me to count out and measure 
the perimeter of it. Thanks for coming and having fun with shapes today, boys and girls. Bye-bye.